Hi everyone, Jackson Fisk with Goal Zero, The Simple Way to Manage Safety. I want to take a minute to discuss our last blog post, 10 Steps to Creating a Strong Safety Culture. As mentioned in our previous blogs, safety should be a top priority for any business. Of course, without a safe working environment, employees are at risk and the company can face serious financial penalties. But safety culture can be so much more. A strong health and safety culture will have a positive impact on your workers, public perception, and your bottom line. So how do we do that? Well, it all starts with management's commitment to safety. Management needs to set the tone for an organization and must make sure everyone on board is on board with your program. Then we need to assess hazards and put controls in place to protect your workers. This includes many things like inspections, worksite tours, emergency preparedness, training and competency of your workers, incident investigations, and considerations for other affected parties like contractors, visitors, or other employers in your area. Depending on your size, you'll need a safety rep or a committee, depending on your jurisdiction. Then we need to package it all together and administer the program. An effective safety management program is essential to build a strong safety culture. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, but it does have to be practical for your operations and be compliant for local legislation and regulations. At Goal Zero, we can help with this. We can give you the foundation and the tools you need to build a strong program and company culture and let our team of experts and partners grow with you as you need it. If you want more information, please read our blog or contact us on our website. Thank you. Have a safe day.